Decades before this, in the turn of the century, 1908, the so-called Tunguska event flattened 770 square miles of forest in a remote part, again, of central Siberia. The big when theories about the cause of that explosion make have tsunami, ranged from a meteor, comet, and once again a UFO crash landing, and with the mystery threat. compounded by the lack of any this physical is exactly impact what happened crater. In Indonesia Meanwhile, a, few days a 269 foot wide asteroid from the is predicted to narrowly miss Earth the tomorrow. Of the volcano. Scientists have urged government officials to prepare for a terrifying an unprecedented magnitude 9 mega earthquake that would unleash a deadly tsunami with 90 foot high waves. This is by Ollie Smith on Express UK. Scientists declare that it's a matter of when, not if, a devastating earthquake strikes New Zealand and it will unleash a mega tsunami that could wreak havoc across large parts of the world, not just in the Pacific. Geologists in New Zealand claim the Hikurangi subduction zone is one of the world's biggest fault lines and there is evidence that it could soon set off a quake and a subsequent tsunami. They're talking about a 9.0 magnitude mecha quake. The rupture of the fault line could cause damage and destruction on a scale bigger than the Japanese earthquake and tsunami that took place in March of 2011. And we know what happened after that. It was a triple whammy. It was not just the earthquake and tsunami, but it was also the Fukushima disaster. New Zealand Geo Geoscience Society, GNS official, Dr. Laura Wallace, admitted that the tsunami trigger could have waves of up to 30 meters high. That's 90 feet, over 90 feet. Dr. Wallace said the imminent threat of an extremely powerful earthquake was higher than previously expected which has prompted officials in New Zealand to ramp up preparation and emergency response plans. She said, we know the Hukarangi subduction zone can produce large earthquakes and tsunamis, and these events have happened in the past. And let me just comment here that uh, it's very active. The Pacific Ring of Fire is a very active ring. We've seen a tremendous amount of earthquakes and volcanic activity this past year and even now into the new year of 2019. So yeah, uh, New Zealand sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire. She says, we know a rupture at some point in the future is certain. The scenario we are using to support the development of this response plan is a very realistic example of what we could face in our lifetime and that of our children and grandchildren. She says, we know they are possible. Evidence suggests that they have happened hundreds of years ago, so the questions are not if, but when, and how large and what the impacts will be. Scientist Kate Clark told New Zealand's One News, quote, we could have a magnitude 9.0 earthquake in the worst case scenario, much more than the earthquake, the tsunami would be the dangerous element. Waves of up to 90 feet could be seen and landfall could happen within just seven minutes notice. And she added that the disaster strike could uh, come at any point. The preparedness plan is coordinated between scientists, government officials, emergency services, health providers, business experts, and NFO leaders. Martha Savage, professor of geophysics at Victoria University, said the longer the wait, the bigger the quake. Quote, because the subduction zone is closer to us than it is in Japan, we would have large tsunamis and we would not have as much warning. They could come in as early as six minutes. That would be very devastating to people near the coast. You could have up to 15, 20, 30 meters waves if you're right on the coast, just to translate 30 meters to yards. So right on the coast, that would, uh, of course, be 30 meters. Uh, a one-story house is about three meters so there's a 10 story eight to 10 story building eight floor building you can imagine how high these tsunamis would be this is on express uk i'll leave a link below for you for this
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, and Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.